I haven't the faintest idea why I keep submitting myself to this. I don't know. What do you mean by that? Howard's always the toughest interview you ever want to do or don't want to do. Why is, it so, why is it so tough? Oh, you know, there are no rules when you come in with Howard. There, there are no rules. He, he just, um, he's the king, man. You just have to submit to being in his court. So, he's always been great with me, though, so I really have no complaints. But then again, talk to me after the show. Carol Walt will be here at 8.30, the supermodel. Fred says she's not. He's got, uh... And I've got proof to back it up. He went out on the street and interviewed people. He actually, I've never seen him do that. He no. just got up and did something. Why are you so cruel to Carol Walt? No, really, you really are cruel. Last Thank time, I swear the last time uh, Fred was, was... over the top. Fred was over the top, and Carol almost cried. I, yeah. I mean, Carol probably will say she didn't, but I, it looked to me like she was really upset. Yeah, I, didn't, I, I guess I can't see your face, so I, I don't... No, it really looked like she was going to cry, yeah. and, I, and I made you stop. I've always said you're a supermodel. I still think you're a supermodel. I think you look beautiful. I read that the word was coined for her, regardless of what Fred says. Fred, tell Carol what <laughs> hey, you found on the Fred? internet. No, I found <laughs> who's Fred? Is there a Fred here? Fred, you know about Yes, yes. well, I, 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 I looked for you on the internet, Carol. I couldn't find one mention of you. Oh, oh come on. She's Fred. done over 20 Excuse movies. Me. In Excuse Italy. Me. In Italy. Anybody. No, more pizza, than Italy. The pizza man could oh, get Oh, come her. on. Why are you putting her down? I'm not. She goes, Fred, Fred who? You know what it is? I think you want her. And you're so jealous. Oh, I wouldn't want her. Right. But you don't like that she says she's a supermodel. I, that, I have a problem with that. <laughs> I, th I, I think she is a supermodel. I, she's super to me. Shouldn't we bring her in as long as we're talking about her? Yeah, she should and be here to, to defend herself. <laughs> but she better not start crying, though. I hope she, uh, she's probably ready for Fred this time. Right. You know, after that laugh. Oh. Where is Carol? Oh, they, beautiful. Carol always is all decked out. Right, she's trying extra hard. She's trying extra hard. You know what? Extra Fred's extra like the guy. Hard. I'm not sure. I think there's nothing changing in your mind. You know what Fred's like? Fred's, Fred's like the guy who abuses a woman until she finally gives in. Yeah. You know what I mean? Listen like, up, Howard. It's been a long time since I've had a date, so yes, for sure. Is that true? When's the last time you had a date? Um, About... 20 years ago when I first met my husband. Really? You haven't dated since then? Since the I divorce? I haven't. No. Come on. Let's go. Well, you know, I'm only four months back from Africa in any case. And oh, I didn't know you were in Africa. I w How would I know you were in Africa? Because you interviewed me the day I got back. 17 hours on the flight, I got off and had an oh, interview with right. Howard Stern. Yeah. Oh, is that right? It was the highlight of my day. Really? It sure was. I entered New York and had a, an interview with you guys. Hey, Robin. Hi. Hmm. Hey, I Robin. didn't realize that. Okay. And you haven't had a date since? No. Men are scared of you. I'm not. They Why? are. I'm they not afraid, are afraid of, you. of you. And you know what? If you do get the odd date, right? Mm -hmm. First of all, they think that it's okay to jump you because you're a supermodel. Right. Excuse me, Fred. Sorry. Fred says you're not a supermodel. That's okay. Did you hear this tape? And that's why they're not jumping her. Did you hear the tape at all? Uh, no. He went out on the street and interviewed people about whether you were a supermodel. <laughs> We're trying to conduct a survey here, and your help would be greatly appreciated. Can you show that first picture, please? Can you identify this woman? No, I can't. No, I do not. Please. It's upside down. Here, do you know who this woman is? Uh, no, I don't. Well, she looks kind of like that Monica Lewinsky. Would you say that Carol Alt is currently a supermodel? She says she's a supermodel. Would it make her a supermodel that I don't know her? I wouldn't consider her a supermodel, no. Do you no. think she ever was a supermodel? Judging from the criterion used today of what a supermodel is. No. These are all his friends. Yes. <laughs> and he friends says he ran swear to God, I did not doing. stack the <laughs> <laughs> Fred's doing the different voices. I don't think he interviewed people. I did oh, not he, stack He's on fire about this. You know what? Let him be on fire about something, because it's obviously the only thing he's on fire about. <laughs> what is it, Bob? How you guys doing? Right. Uh, listen, Fred is a complete idiot. I know. Uh, about 13 years ago, or 12 years or something, is back when Carol was really the super, super model. I mean, she's still gorgeous, but... Absolutely. Like, if you walk right? around the streets right now and ask people about Letitia Costa or somebody, they'll know who she is. But you go 12 years down the road, she's going to be obscure as hell. Carol Carol was absolutely a super model. No, Thank she you. wasn't. Look as at a matter her fact, covers. Play that clip by Cindy Look Crawford. At Cosmopolitan. Why, Look at play the clip by Cindy Crawford. She, she was on the show, and she said that Carol was not around at the oh, time. Oh, he's that done the research. Model. No, 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 she was right here. You missed Crawford, man. Well, I remember the Overmeyer ads back back in the day. Oh my God! No, no. See, the uh, thing is, is like the, the thing 
I don't the even supermodel know. should be face recognition, which nobody seems to know who Carol is anymore. Right. Right. I mean, nobody could name one magazine cover. Right. Let, let, let me let me let me hear this. Yeah, then they don't yeah. know Vogue or Cosmo or you know. Let me hear the tape. Well, they know enough about uh, you know Claudia Schiffer and all this the other. This is Cindy ones. Crawford. Let's hear your evidence. I want to know who's in charge of the sound effects. <laughs> Fred <laughs> okay, over there, Fred. and he he likes you. The guy I know, he's the super nut. He says Carol Alt is not in your league. Thank you. Absolutely right. She's a lovely lady, though. But she's not a good looking. I just don't think supermodels really existed at that time either. Right. You believe you are the original supermodel. No, not me. I think it was that whole group. Um, like, like Chrissy, Chrissy and Linda, and Naomi, yeah. and Claudia. I think right. that was like the first kind of when that term was done. Are you, what do you think of that? Will you fight Cindy Crawford about that? You know what? History speaks for itself. I believe you are a supermodel. Cindy was also in a, a, a book that said that she was the first one to do posters and calendars. Excuse me. You were. Exercise videos. I wasn't even. What about Farah? Right. Excuse me. Right. You know, so everybody has a selective memory, like Fred. Right. Yeah. Uh huh. Like Fred. Well, like Fred. I don't know. It seems like a, a supermodel, a bona fide supermodel, shouldn't be entitled what to What is the criti criteria for supermodel? Face Fred? recognition for one, and nobody well, seemed to know who you know Carol what, was. You know how it really name came recognition, about? which nobody seemed to know uh, who she was. Fred, and Carol is trying to talk. Just, just well, she asked a question. I was you answering her question. No, I didn't ask a question. She's coming Fred. in with her hoity-toity attitude and trying to and trying She's to be being very submission. lovely. You were being rude. Go ahead, Carol. Well, in order Excuse to answer me. your question, Robin, what actually happened was in 1982, 83, I was working in a studio. And the agency called me every five minutes. And it was Penn's studio, and I was working for Vogue, and I knew that this guy would never book me again because every five minutes the phone rang, and he was one of those very quiet, calm, you know, zen kind of people. And I walked into John Casablanca's from Elite, and I said, you know what, John, I will never work for Penn again. And he said, well, why not? Don't you like him? I said, no, he doesn't like me. You know why? Because every five minutes the phone rang. I said, every booker was looking for me for this trip to Paris. I said, that's so ridiculous to lose a job because my bookers are trying to make sure I'm getting work. I said, you know what? I need one booker who works just with me. And he looked at me and says, you know what? You're right. There are girls that are working every single day, and there are girls that are working kind of every other day. Right. He says, so we're going to create a super elite division. Right. And thus, and super you, exactly. the model. Who started that? Well... I, I think yes. it came from that, but it was John's idea. I just, I just had this need. So what do you think of that, Fred? Necessity is the mother of invention. I think yeah. she's, she's grasping at straws. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> said, super I once heard. Division. Let me just say. This is unbelievable. Let me just say. I once heard that the criteria for supermodels yes. was. If I inseminate them. <laughs> yes. Isn't that the case? Well, then I'm not a supermodel. Well, not yet. No, I'm working on it. Yes, go ahead. They had to have a number of covers, including Vogue, Cosmo, mm -hmm. or Sports Illustrated. Haven't you had all of them? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And, <laughs> and they had to have their own endorsement deal. Which you've had? Several. Yes. Fred, what do you make of that? You know what's funny? I went on the internet. And looked under oh, under models. Here we go. Oh, here we go again. All right, let's hear now, this. This is the internet, okay, Carol? I'm just reporting what I found on the internet. Did yeah, I create you know, the Fred, internet? You, did I create you this lost file? This, you lost this argument last time. Right, what did you find? I'm not losing Any the argument. I've got Cindy Crawford to back me up. What did, so far, Robin has even least twenty people. What do you think of what Robin just said? What's that? What do you think of? What do you think of what Robin just said? People could not name the last magazine cover that she was on. She was around. She's an actress now. She's not modeling. Where, where, where? Other than private parts, where have you seen her? And maybe that whole Hogan week show on Fox Family Channel, and I've got. What, King of the uh, Hill? No, no. No. Thank you, but that's what? the last thing I did. But the next yeah, thing I did in one week. It was a cartoon. It wasn't a film. Wait, wait, wait a second. When she was a model. It's not in a film like with Billy Baldwin or anything. When, like when she was modeling, when she was modeling, she did every, every cover, cover that Robin just mentioned. She so had endorsement other, deals. So did a lot of other models, no, but, no, they no, but nobody is claiming to be a supermodel like Carol is. I never claimed this argument. Never started deal. with me, Fred. So excuse me. If there's any discussion at all, then there must be, you know, a reason for it. Let me ask you something, because this has got to be settled once and for all. I can't keep having this. Carol on here with this argument. What? Although maybe I could. <laughs> Let me ask you something, because uh, I'm fascinated by you, Fred. <laughs> okay. What did you find on the internet? What did I find all on right. the internet? Yes. Uh, they had volumes of stuff. On on, uh, on Claudia Schiffer, they had volumes of stuff on Ellen right, Pearson, right? Cindy Crawford, uh, okay. Claudia Schiffer. You know what they had under the listing under Carol Alt? Tell me, semi-retired. Uh, semi-retired. Well, she's birth, not. She is a retired birth, model. Her birth date. She's an actress. And the color of her hair, and that was it. Do you Listen, believe this? Hey, Listen, I'm proud there? to be just mentioned in that list. That of women. was it. No, but the see, they sentence. didn't give her. They didn't give her a supermodel credit. They didn't say. Oh, this is outrageous. There is a supermodel a few obscure credit. This is outrageous. Yes, Patsy, go ahead. Go ahead. This is outrageous. Defend Carol. Back in like when Christy was on, when Christy Brinkley. Yes. Didn't have the name. Matter of fact, Christy they Brinkley. What? what? 
Let her. Let this woman I'm make sorry. a point. Yes, go ahead. They didn't have like the term supermodel. Right. Look Carol at Carol now. She's a supermodel. supermodel. I would bang Carol over Cindy right. Crawford. I had them both here. Her because she was in Howard's movie too. Hey, seriously. Look at a Carol right now, mm -hmm. and I had Cindy on there. I'm ten times more attracted to you. Thank you, Howard. Ten times. <laughs> I'd bang you over her any day. And I'm more attracted to you than Fred. Yeah. <laughs> well, most people are. Fred, because he's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Thank you. Thank you for defending What is it, Jeff? Uh, hi, Jeff. I, I want to just suggest that uh, Carol Ogg should be on with Paul McKenna. Oh, get hypnotized? Uh-huh. You ever been hypnotized? No, I haven't. Ever wanted to get hypnotized? Oh, sometimes when I want to forget a guy, I'd like to get hypnotized out of it. Like forget Fred? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, we could hypnotize you to forget Fred. Why, are you still, are you still pining away for your husband? Ah, uh, yeah, a little bit. You are. Well, maybe we need to hypnotize you then. I think so. Have you spoken with him since the divorce? Well, yeah. You have. Oh, he's been nice to me. He has. Of course. He better be. What happened? Did you break up with him or he broke up with you? you uh, no, this is the biggest thing. He, 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 well. He dumped you. Yeah. It's hard to believe. God. Uh, Who's he with now? I don't know. Kate Moss. You still don't talk to him about his relationship? No, he won't talk to me. Oh, he doesn't? Uh, no. I email sure. him all the time. I say, okay, I know this, I know that. But he doesn't respond. He's very discreet. That's what I liked about him. Uh-huh. Right. Is Kate Moss a supermodel? Absolutely. She is? Look. Kate Moss is a supermodel. Amber Valette is a supermodel. Nadja Armin is a supermodel. I don't Shalom know these Arlo people. I don't know supermodel. anything Nadja Armin. As a matter I know fact, Carol Walt over there. As a matter of fact, there is a new category called Mega Models. Right. Of which Carol Alt is not. Now, you want to make well, a claim that you're a mega model now? No, Christy no. Brinkley is a mega model. Naomi Campbell, Linda Evangelista. Why is no. Christy Brinkley a mega model? Because she's just done it all. And so has Carol. No, she has. She's been she's on every not, magazine she's not cover. in that class. Oh, uh, my not God. in that class. You know what, Fred? I'm not even going to dignify please. that with an answer. Oh, now you say Christy they Brinkley do that is Carol nothing? Alt has I never done. said that. I'm not well, dignifying you with an answer. Then what are you insinuating? I'm insinuating you're not worth an answer. Oh, is that right? Fine. Actually, I Who didn't cares? insinuate that. I meant that. <laughs> good. <laughs> Directly. That's fine. So, so, so not only we would, have, we would have else. such You're a good polite. time if Fred wasn't here. I know. We would. I have lots to talk about. He ruins it. Well, not about modeling. It? Could Fred tell us what <laughs> those women have done that Carol Alt hasn't done? What, are the, the, yeah. Yeah. what has Christy Brinkley done pages? that Carol Alt well, hasn't she done? She fits all the criteria that Robin Go was ahead. talking about. She says she has face, you know, the face recognition, the name recognition. And you don't think Carol does? Who knows what she's done? I'll tell you what this she's done. This is probably back in the dark ages. She did all the magazine covers. Supermodel. She did all the magazine covers. But so covers. did a lot of these people. Oh, forget what it. these people? Mike, Lauren, at, Lauren Bacall used here's, to do that. Here did is that it. make her a Wait supermodel? A let's, let's, uh, Jillian. Yes. All right, what is it? I have to defend Carol. Good Lord, Fred. <laughs> I mean, I, she kind of made the point that I already wanted to make was the fact that it was the super elite part of the agency, and it was the media that pinned her supermodel. Thank you. The media pen well, her now supermodel. Now, where are you getting your information from, from something that you know or from what Carol just parroted? Well, no. It's because I, my mother used to model, and I remember when Carol oh, who's was your working mother? a lot. I remember. Who's your mother? Was she famous? No. Well, there you go. But it doesn't matter, because I remember then when Carol was doing a lot Then I guess I can just discount your theory, can I? Fred no. is so worked up over Please. this. I know, and I'm sorry. I have More to defend my family. Even when we have a meeting, Thank Carol, you. and we said you were coming in, Fred mm -hmm. ran out with a tape recorder and interviewed people on the street. Right. This is so how, so at least you know, I inspire you know, him to You know work. what kills me? He doesn't Thank do anything God, ever. Exactly. <laughs> you know? Yeah. At least I have a good effect. <laughs> he never does anything unless this is the topic. Exactly. Because he thinks he knows everything about models. Well, I'm glad he's so obsessed over me. Thanks, Fred. Fred, why don't you write a book you. about models? It's already been done. But no. you could do another. Nah, I don't know enough about models. And that oh. What is oh, it? Oh my God! Here's somebody who's judging me who says he doesn't know enough about models. Okay. And about that models ends the conversation and personal, right no, there. No, 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 no. I know about this aspect that, of it, that Carol. Ends don't, the don't. Uh, right no, there. that that doesn't even. Bring that me doesn't an authority. Even wash. Bring me a leading authority. Right, Daniel. What is it? Well, I was just wanting to comment on how I think Fred's being a jerk about this. I mean, you think? I'm. <laughs> Explain to me. Well, for one thing, I mean, I don't really know who Carol is. <laughs> I've never heard of her. You don't before. know who she is, okay? No. Well, that I'm, doesn't mean anything. Course, have you ever seen any of your movies? Have you ever seen on a magazine cover? Never have. But Did I've you seen see uh, have you seen Yeah, what have movie? You seen Christy she Brinkley? was in the same movie you were in. I know. I'm still a puppy, anyways. I'm just 22 years old. You know I'm who still, Christy I... is? Christy Brinkley? Yeah. Okay, you know who. Uh, you what know. movies has she been in? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, she was in National Lampoon's Vacation. And? What else? Oh, God, she's probably been in other ones. I just can't think of them. Yeah. Right, all of a sudden doesn't, he doesn't know doesn't something. matter, Robin. The fact is, is everybody in the world knows Christy Brinkley. I know Carol Alt. Nine out of ten people do <laughs> not know Carol Alt. And he argues about this with me. When you're not here. 
Well, he's obsessed can, can, over can, me. He is. He's can obsessed you, over me. Look at I, I, would, I, would just like, I would just like Carol to explain away one thing. Now, these people who I you know, talk to on the street, they weren't shills. They were people. Ganji could be. Oh, come this. on. This is we ridiculous. Them up off of the Chris, street, what is it? Go ahead. Listen, she anybody, is. Can I just say one thing? What is it? Anybody and they're not who, kids either. Anybody who listens to your show hmm. has got to at least know my name. Right. Because you and are a real bud, and there's and millions of people, the right? Time. Exactly. The people, the people as a matter of fact, the people who do listen to the show, the only reason they know Carol Alt is from listening. To I the think show, Fred is afraid of else. our relationship, okay. Carol, and that he he will you be left out. Is, that you actually know that, a supermodel, and he only gets to look at their pictures. Right. That's I know no, a supermodel. I have, to, I have to tell you something really funny though. Last yes. week I went out to listen to a friend of mine sing in a club in in Los Angeles, and I was walking out. This girl walked right up to me, and in my face, and she went, "You know." You kind of look like that supermodel chick that Howard Stern loves so much. You know, Carol right. Alt. And I went, do I? And I said, she goes, oh, God, don't tell me you're Carol Alt. I just put my foot in my mouth. I yeah. thought, I have to tell Howard that. I mean, now I'm the supermodel chick that Howard loves. <laughs> That's right. You are. That's exactly who you are. So, don't therefore, that answers your question. No, that right. just makes a, a person who listens to the show being like a fan of Howard now becomes oh. a fan of you. Oh, boy. That's oh, all that he makes. won't give it up. Oh, oh please. Give that up. What is it, Beth? Beth, go ahead. Hi. Hi. Hi, how are you? Yes, quickly. Okay, um, I have to point out that they just did a documentary, I believe it was on VH1, and they specifically pointed out that the supermodel term was coined by Carol Alt. By or for? For Carol Alt. For her, because exactly, they talked about how she needed just one booker, and wow. they said that you was see, the Fred? beginning now, of it. Now, apologize to Carol. No, I'm not going to. You don't even buy this woman's. No, uh, I don't buy what this woman's saying. It was a documentary done on models, and they said well, Who did it, VH1? It. He will not uh, no, back down. I'm sorry. I'm, I apologize, Carol. Next time you come in, I'll have Fred removed from I, the room. You know, I appreciate that, Howard. We yeah. talk about something more important. Thank you, yeah. Beth. You're I welcome. can't believe your husband, Ron Greshner, your ex-husband, dumped you. That is sick. A lot of people don't believe that. I don't. But it, but it's true. No, I've I, seen Ron. He's nothing to look at. Oh, he's a great guy, though. I mean, any girl who catches him is getting a, a real catch. Really? Oh, yeah. That sounds to me like... Listen to how she talks about him. It sounds to Why me... Why shouldn't I? We were together for 15 years. It sounds to me like Carol actually wanted out. No, like no woman... gracious? Yeah. I see. Listen, <laughs> let, let me tell you a couple <laughs> statistics here. I mean, it's so much easier for men to find Do you think you were good in bed not. with him? Do you think that you were sexually compatible, or do you think that he wasn't satisfied? Well, you know what, Howard? I wasn't home enough to know that. Really? When you were with him, though, was the sex great? Great. For you, you mean? For him, I hope, too. Otherwise, why would he hang for 15 years? A lot of times women think the sex is great. But why would he hang for 15 years? you got to ask Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? You don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He hasn't really talked about that to me in two years. And you can't get a date. It's really hard, Are Howard. You? Look at these men out there. I mean, come on. Look at like them. Fred. They're all like Fred, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh. sure men ask you Maybe out. Maybe she's a snob. That's why. Do men um, ask you out? No, I think they're afraid of me. Maybe they assume you're married. Well, you, well, it hasn't really been out there that I'm I'm divorced because I never really talked about it. I mean, right. only with you. Right. There's aren't many people. You know, anybody who asks me, I kind of say, yeah, well, kind of. You know. I like your lips. I like what you did with them. Yeah. Yeah, I like the lipstick. Mm -hmm. And what you do? You put liner around them. Mm-hmm. Sexy. That's the new look, Robin. Is it? I'll have to get sexy lips. <laughs> when I look at them, I get aroused. Yeah, but you know what the thing is, Howard? I'm my just lipstick looking... never gets smudged anymore. <laughs> no, I'll smudge it. I'm, you know, I'm looking at your lips, mm -hmm. and I'm getting an arousal. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Hey, this is the next uh, advertisement for some kind of cosmetic line. Hey? I just got aroused <laughs> looking at her lips. I am so full of... Jeepers, what do you have, like a tuning fork under there? That, a what? A tuning fork under there that, like... I have a tuning fork. That sounds whenever you get aroused? That, that is not a sound effect. That's the actual sound of my arousal. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I think he's the only guy in the country that has an arousal yeah. sound. Yeah, can you believe that? You have a theme song for your arousal. I mean, all guys don't make noise when they get aroused? Uh, well, no, maybe not no. that kind Usually of noise, anyway. quiet. Hmm. <laughs> Isn't that boring? So you haven't gotten sex with... You haven't had sex with a man in how long? It well, doesn't mean I've had sex with a woman. <laughs> no, I know. How, how, when is the last time you had sex with a guy? It's been a while. Six months? Listen, I was in Africa for a year. It wasn't like I could have sex with anybody in Africa. Why not? What about a nice African gentleman? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. No, I heard you wanted to go black. You never go back. So I was afraid to go in that direction because I didn't want to be like You've never stuck. slept with a black guy, have you? No. And you would not? I don't know. You know, there are some very, very sexy black men, I have to tell you. Yes, but would you have sex with one of them? Depends. You know what? You never know who you can fall in love with. Because you just said in Africa you would not have sex with anybody yeah, there. Yeah, I didn't find any kind of like really great kind of gorgeous, sexy... Guys? Guys, no. Black guys. Yeah, they're all, ki they're all kind of out of shape. I don't think actually. you dig black guys. Mm. 
depends on the black guy. I don't really? always dig white guys either. I don't always dig white girls either. But you didn't, but now you dig white girls. I've got a lot of lesbian friends. You do? Oh, sure. Would you consider that? I don't think so. I think you would. I think when someone says, I don't think so. They mean yes? They mean yes. <laughs> well, I wish the guys who ask me out for a date would believe <laughs> I don't think so means So it. guys have asked you out, but you haven't been turned on enough to go with somebody. Well, I've gone with a couple guys out for like the first date, and then they're all over you like a wet blanket, and you want to slap them one. I see. Well, I know if you gave me a date, I would, I would probably jump on You'd top of you. You'd probably lunge at her, too. I would. <laughs> you know what? Why no, wait? I, I'm really conservative, and that's really kind of a... a that's kind of a turnoff. Yeah, I think it's a turnoff for men. Yeah, I need, I need, a, I need instant, instant gratification. Yeah, I think a lot of men do. Yeah, There's I need no to. There's no building of like kind of respect and all this kind of stuff, and I don't, I don't understand. Need romance, that. quick romance. I need long-term romance. Really? Yeah, for longer than fifteen years next time. Really? Yeah. Oh, good luck. Yes. <laughs> Listen, Howard, you did it, and you're my inspiration. That man. is true. That is true. I have my inspiration. Is that really true? Yeah, I see you. Listen, <coughs> if your wife can put up <coughs> what you do on the radio. Yes. I think that most men should be able to put up with a lousy kiss on screen, don't you? Uh, I think so. Okay. Oh, is that what was his problem? That, that was one of his problems. Oh, dear. Your husband was mad that you would kiss men on screen. Yeah, and no matter how many times I told him, listen, you know, I think of you, or I put attributes I like about you on me. I mean, I'm an actress, so what do you want? Well, you know, even my wife says to me, like, I, like I kissed Cindy Margolis, right, the world's most right. downloaded internet and woman. what was your excuse? <laughs> and I, I went through my mind. I said, my wife's not like, I said, wait a second, is it any different than an actor kissing? I mean, I'm on camera. The woman says, hey, she's going to kiss me. No, 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 no. If no. I was you making out with... for a kiss. If Carol Alt right now said to me, look, I want to kiss you on camera. Kiss. Now, if she said to me off camera she wants to kiss me, that's a different story. I kissed you on camera last time. You did? I don't sure. even remember. Oh, thanks a lot. Oh, I blocked it there out. You go. There you go, Fred. There's more, there's more ammunition. No, no, I blocked it out on purpose. Because if I start thinking about it, I'll be, I'll be done get for. get another doing? No, what I'm talking get about... sound effect over there. What I'm talking about is, let's say you and I kissed on camera right now. Okay. All right? Let's say I laid down on that couch with you. Mm. On camera. Howard, you'd have big red lips. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> the rest of the day. So does Bozo. <laughs> so I would, uh, let's say I laid down on that couch next to you and I started to like fool around with you. If it was on camera to me, that's acting. Yeah. That's not really doing anything. You're well, stretching. Uh oh. I don't think so. I don't. I think no. so. I don't. But but you're, you're not married scene. to me. You're not in a scene. You're creating. But it a is situation. a scene. But it is a scene. It's no scene. I'm the wild man of radio. Yeah, right. A girl says to me, hey, I'm going to kiss you, and I'm going to back down and say, no, my fans will be disappointed. She didn't say she was going to kiss you. You asked for a kiss. Oh, please. You create the whole thing. Let's play strip, <laughs> let's play strip homeless game with Carol. <laughs> Where were we? I don't know. Where were we? So when is the last time you had sex with a guy? A while. Has it been a year? Yeah. And what are you doing? Just pleasing yourself? No. Oh, liar. I'm working. That's a lie. I'm working a lot. You don't touch yourself. So I have to dignify that with an answer. The answer is yes, you do touch yourself. Of course yeah. you do. You're a woman. Robin touches herself. Robin! I'm doing it now. No. <laughs> <laughs> she really is. Yeah. She loves to do it during Robin, the show. Robin, you are so dang quick. <laughs> it's so dirty. Now, Robin's very honest about it. She is. She is honest. You are honest. Well, when you... I mean, we are sexual beings. We should not live without orgasms. Right. You don't have a vibrator? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, you know what? I, you know what? Life's too short. Carol. No wonder your husband well, broke well, up with you. Yes, I guess maybe. Hey? No wonder your husband I broke told up you with you. I was you. conservative. <laughs> it's all my fault. Mm. You really are. You must be conservative in the sack. Oh, I would. Oh, I would just totally dirty you up. Mm. What he religion? Keeps, you know. You know how many years he's been telling me that. What religion are you? <laughs> Seriously. You know what? I consider myself a citizen of the world. No, yeah, but what were you raised? I was raised Catholic. <laughs> okay. That all right, says you know it all. what? You have, to, you have to be turned into like a dirty little girl. <laughs> Guys don't know how to deal with you. You no, know why? They don't. Because they think you're so China perfect and yes. they're going to break you. This is true. No, I, oh, please. Even you know my what? My husband felt that way. I know, sure. of course. I know what I do to you. First thing I do is I buy a big vibrator. Oh, a big one. <laughs> a big one. Big <laughs> one. And then I would tie Carol up to the bed. And I would work her over with the vibrator until she's screaming. Oh, please. I think the second I saw that vibrator, I'd start screaming. I don't even think you've ever had an orgasm. What do you think of that? I don't think you have. Ah, uh, well, I'll let you wonder, Howard. And you haven't. Mystery is the... I don't think Ron ever gave you an orgasm. Oh, dear. I'm being serious. <laughs> Why would she Maybe be Maybe you should have Ron on here to him. dignify that with I could tell. I can tell he never delivered the goods to you. You haven't even had one. Then why did he leave me? I didn't leave him for lack of that. <laughs> he left you because he wasn't wild enough. You weren't wild enough for him. Mm. And he didn't know how to turn you into a dirty little slut. Yeah. And Maybe. I do. 
I know how to do it. Well, like, write a book and give me lessons or something. No, I'm going to give you lessons. <laughs> I'm going to tutor you. The, and it'll all be to, to I think help that's Howard, her. I think you that's know, Howard's next therapist. book, Robin, don't yeah. you? Believe me. Howard on sex. <laughs> I'll tell you something. I could kiss you, slide my hands over your hips in a suggestive way, and you'd have an orgasm. <laughs> what do you think of that? I think that's pretty cool, Howard. You're, you're damn right. Your wife is a very lucky woman. I, can't t- I didn't say I could do it to my wife. Oh, well. <laughs> you are a, a very unlucky woman. Thing. That's right. <laughs> my wife's been around me way too long. Uh-oh. All right, so... Anyway, anyway, you and Ron, so you're telling me that you have not pleasured yourself in over a year. I'm not dignifying that with an answer. Are you uh, embarrassed uh, to answer it? Much, no. Why? Do you think you have the image? Uh, you can't uh, talk about Listen, it? Listen, Howard, I have no idea what my image is anymore. Every time I come on this show, it changes. <laughs> no, you have a wonderful image. <laughs> yes, you you keep it that way. Thank all right. You. So you so all right. So you're here to promote something. Carol Alt, of course. Yes. Uh, supermodel. Hmm. Her Fox <laughs> Family Channel original movie, Catch Me If You Can. What is this movie? Well, I play an ex-wife. Yeah, well, you know? <laughs> there you go. Uh-oh. Art imitates life. <laughs> You're kidding. Are you nude in this? No. You're not. No. You know, I'd really like a sexy movie, Howard, but... I'm going to write you one. I, I, I wish you would. Everything you write is great, so come on. I Wait. just got offered a movie. It was really sexy. You know, i got to be proud of myself. I got offered sexy? a movie. Yeah, well, I got an offer to a movie where every other page, I'm banging a different woman. Mm-hmm. And I turned it down. I would think you would. It's you a know. comedy. And, well, I, and I turned it down. I don't know how, you know, I was, I was working with The Outer Limits, and they came up to me and they said, we wanted Howard Stern for this part. And Outer said, Limits? Yeah. What is that? It's a, it's a television series. I don't do television. And they wanted, they wanted you, and I said, well, I mean, they asked me to do something, and they said, we wanted you and Howard Stern because of the movie. No, I'm a film star now. I this don't do okay. that. This is okay. I don't this do, is okay. I can't do movies, right? This I'm a leading man. Every film star is now project. doing television. I'm a leading man. What? Not even a special TV project, like, uh... Very special. Roots or something? Roots I might do. <laughs> Howard Stern's Roots. See all the miseries that were my ancestors. God, that would be a great Roots. It would, it's like for four hours, nothing would happen. It would just be some guy pressing a pair of pants, which yeah. was my grandfather. Yeah, Joe, go ahead. Hey, Howard, I'm like, this is Joe from Long Island. Listen, I go back and forth to Italy. Yeah. All these actress, uh, actresses, they, uh, you know, when they're here, they're all uh, pretty much proper, but in Italy, they all get naked. You see Carol Orff on all the magazines, naked. Are you naked oh. in the magazines? In, uh, uh, what magazine? What magazine? Uh, well, there's a, a designer uh, magazine you're on the cover for, PA Watch, I think, or some kind of watch. Have you ever appeared nude in a magazine? No, right? One one time, somebody see? got a photo of me when I was on the set, and my shirt blew up. Oh, they got it? Uh, you, you Where can won't. I see that? Is that on the internet? <laughs> oh, I'm, you know what? Celebrity Skin loves to run that one. Really? I'd like to see that. Hey, how Fred, have you seen that? Really, no, can't say that. Oh, that's the only time I've ever, like, even been, like, caught. Well, you say you I saw her in Italy nude? Howard, I, in Italy, all these actresses, they on these magazines... But she's saying she didn't, you idiot. God. Does it matter what I say? They're going to believe what they want anyway. Well, wow, you're a very controversial woman. I am. What can I tell you? Yes, Darby, <laughs> go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. You know what, Howard? You know what really bugs me? I've been listening to you for 12 years. Is you're all afraid of Fred. You know Fred's wrong. I think that's why Jackie's not even here today, because he doesn't want to be involved in this. Every <clears> time somebody stands up to Fred, whether it's you, Gary, Jackie, Fred gets up in their face and threatens them. Why can't you all just tell him right now, Fred, you're wrong? Fred, you're wrong. I told him you're wrong. He doesn't want to hear and, it. And he doesn't want to hear it. I disagree, but, but how am I you. threatening Howard? Every time anybody disagrees with you, Fred, you flip out, you storm out of the street, Have I you flipped start out? threatening people with your multi-personality Excuse self, me. Eric, Sir? Fred, who are you, dude? Sir? Have I flipped out this morning? <laughs> oh, so does somebody stand, if Howard stands up, you are... If, <laughs> Have uh, I walked out of the room this morning? All right. Fred, <laughs> Thank you. Fred, I am telling you you're wrong. Okay, that's fine. I disagree. All right. But I stand by my research. I stand by my street pole. I stand research. by Cindy Crawford. My street pole. My, yes. <laughs> you know, just Jesus. average people on the street who did not know who Carol was. They're not well, fawning. I don't, I don't They're believe not it. fawning, you know, sycophants who sit there and do her makeup yeah, but now and they take know her who picture. I am now. <laughs> You're well, beautiful, yeah. beautiful. There is no, the, you are one that's of the most beautiful women dispute. I've ever seen. That's Thank not even. Do you hear what I'm saying? I that. hear you. I even see a lot of women. I hear you. I see a lot of women. You're a beautiful woman. Thank you. She is, but there's a lot of beautiful women. And your lips get me excited. She's a model, Fred. So you, uh, we had two beautiful women in the studio. Are you last opposed week. to oral sex? Giving men oral sex? Heck no. You're not. No. You're good at it. I don't know. I mean, that you know, that's your husband liked it. isn't it? You thought he liked it anyway. I hope he liked it. Hmm. Hmm. And you're really into it. I like it. You don't just throw a couple of kisses. <laughs> yeah, from across the room. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, some girls think they're good at it. 
Oh, dear. Carol, perform that on me now, and I'll tell the men at home whether or not you're any good at it. Uh -huh. Oh, well. Because then I would be able to tell. There's an offer. There's an offer. If you don't mind. This is the first Whoa. offer of a date I've had in a really long well, time. Well, at least I ask. Yes. Uh, right. You know what the problem with men today is that they don't want to take care of women. They think, oh, you know, everybody's so feminist and this, that, and the other. Right. And they don't want to, you know, I just want some guy that's, like, nice to me. Yeah. Well, keep Takes looking. It's not yeah. going to happen. I don't think so. It's not so. going to happen. I'm taken. <laughs> yes. Right. And that was it. That was my last chance. That was your last hope. I should take uh, Carol over to uh, the Scores uh, Chuck Norris bachelor party today. <laughs> what would she do there? Want to meet some hot chicks? <laughs> <laughs> this is the problem. That's all I meet. Right. A hot chick. Carol Alt's movie is called Catch Me If You Can, where she plays a woman who is scorned. Mm -hmm. Oh. Right? Yeah, but she's luckier, you know, at the end than I was. <laughs> really? And what what is it that, that uh, in the movies even, that you're this woman who's left? Who would leave you? Very few men. I don't know, but I guess I'm a good enough actress that they believe I can, like, act that out. Right. Fred says you... Fred, do you have anything against Carol's acting? No comment. Uh oh. Uh-oh. I haven't seen her in anything that uh, uh -oh. I can comment. Uh -huh. I thought she did a great job in private parts. Yeah. Thank you, Howard. Yeah. But, you know, she kind of just tossed a couple of lines. Oh, there was walk, more than walk, a couple of walking through the air. You know what? Oh. That actually what was a good scene. That, that's that's right. the, yeah, the, the hardest thing to do is to be an actress who just shows up on a set for three, four days. You know what I mean? That's the hardest thing to do. You've of course. Got a set who's a family. Everybody's worked together for months, and you walk in there and you change the rhythm of the set. Right. It's the hardest thing for an actress to do. If you can pull that off, you can. Pull right. Off well, don't try and tell and Fred what's that. What's harder? Saying I'm not lines trying to tell or Fred not anymore. saying lines and having to act. That's right. Thank you. Sometimes. Not saying lines is the hardest. Yeah. Because well, we tend to try to do too much. Thank you, Carol. It's yeah. always good to see you. <laughs> Carol, what's the deal with Fred? Why is he always going after you? So I think personally he has got a major crush on me, and this is his defensive mechanism kicking in. Uh, Darling, you know he wants he, to be a supermodel. <laughs> he wants to be a supermodel. Was he, was he, like, I, I think the big question is whether gay, you know, Fred is gay or straight. That's the big question. What, now, why do you say that? Because he has to trash, he has to trash women. So, so you think he has an issue with women? Perhaps. Or maybe just with me. He's always going after you. But are you a woman? Or are you a woman just as a man just as a woman? Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's a really big question. Do you think <laughs> you'll ever, like, you and Fred ever, like, have a truce, like, call a truce? I hope so, because this is kind of getting boring. He brings up the same arguments over and over again. Wasn't that Fred delivering that food basket to your hotel room at 3 o'clock in the morning? I thought that was Fred. He looked very much yes, like Fred. Yes, I know. Do you think it's it, scary. Do you think it was odd that Fred actually went out on the street and did, like, a survey about you? No, actually. I think it's kind of cool. I was flattered. I was flattered.